Lend your soul to intuition Renaissance, the revolution Pick me up even if I fall It's that time. Today we got CJ the Champ, Mahito, the most diabolical curse. I don't even know what this anime is from yet again. I've been lacking, I've been slacking on my on my on my anime consumption. Uh yeah, alright, let's go. Hello? Bro turned his arm into a cannon thinking he's Samus, started spamming the shit out of gear third, and then they get in the elevator and he tries to catch the Hey yo, what the f Starting off with gay shit? Come on now. That was that was a legit that was a legitimate deliberate attempt to kiss another man. Is that is that I'm not trying to do that. Uh whether it's literally or figuratively. This this reaction channel bullshit. Look, I got some I got Trust me, I got stuff coming. I got stuff coming. I'm, I'm, I'm a. It's gonna be a surprise, but it's gonna be fun. Keep watching. But um, so yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm straight. That's it. It's not a big. De it's a big deal. It's a real big deal. But we. That's stories for other days. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Greetings once again, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all back to the asylum. Our very sp the asylum. Dum, bum, bum. special place for the cuckoo Hello. of cockeyes and the mentally <laughs> insane. And ladies and gentlemen, today we have a doozy. Today we'll be diving into the mind of a man that has terrorized the entire city, traumatized a 15 year old little boy, and sh I'ma just be honest with you, the mother is oh, insufferable. No, and if you hate this nigga, I don't blame. He has a foot fetish. He like kissing dudes. I don't know if I want to watch the rest of this. I have to because I started, and and now, I mean, I'm trying to do something on YouTube. You know what I mean? So I gotta I gotta give content. I signed up for this, but it's just real extreme, and I'm tired of dealing with extreme shit. Blame you. Patient 002, Mahito. Now, before we start, I have made a change in the scoring system of the asylum. Now on the sanity meter, instead of five levels, there are now 10. And if they commit one of these certain actions that is listed, the meter will go up to how much the action is worth. And now with that out the way, it is time to commence rehabilitation. Chapter one, Junpei. The he, real, he real extra with this. Instead of just showing us clips of funny stuff or or ridiculous stuff like like picking up a a mountain with your with your hand and then f with one hand and then twirling it on your finger and then throwing it at some a mountain that that happened in one of the animes that we watched on this channel um it was a see that see the chant video but it, it was my reaction video you know what i mean so so yeah, instead of doing that, instead of just showing us a, a montage of ridiculous stuff, he's like, he's, he's, he's making the, he, he's trying to get creative. Is that what you want to call it? I don't know. That, that's real extra. Is he getting more views? He got a million subscribers. I guess the quality of video goes up. You start trying to do uh, extra stuff. And, and and hopefully that makes you stand out from the rest of the people. But you're already standing out with your with, with the with the with the animes you watch. But where did you find this anime with some dude with the feet out and like putting me in your face doing like this with <clears throat> fool? Poor old little Junpei. A very tragic tale, to be honest. Now, as we can see, this little is getting his ass beat by some bullies. And why they beating his ass, you may ask? Simple. 
They was trying to impress a bitch. Really, nigga? Some mid at that. Ladies, are y'all impressed by extreme and disrespectful and um, and dumb and 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 what else? Extreme, disrespectful, dumb. Uh, possibly homosexual. Behind your back, and she don't even know about. Are y'all 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 like that? That's what's hot. <sighs> okay, that's cool. I only I already have someone. I I I'm. Oh, that's why I'm wearing this hat. The mention of a bear made me wear this bear hat. So, shouts out to you. You know who you are. Yeah, that's cool. Um, but yeah, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> That's why I wore this hat, and I have somebody, yeah. So, I'm not worried about what y'all are attracted to. There you go. And maybe maybe we'll talk more about this when I put out my new videos. I'm, something good is coming. Just stay tuned, man. I'm hype. I like doing this. Look at her strong ass face, nigga. Oh, sharp maybe ass chin. Maybe not this. Bitch built like. I don't like watching weird shit, man. I'm trying to enjoy my life. I don't see what the big deal is. Well, I, I mean, like, I understand what the big deal is, but I don't like it. I'm frustrated. There's nothing I can do. Uh, except for like anything I want, but that's because I'm in a I'm I'm in a certain. We'll talk more. We'll talk more. Coming soon. The nigga chin. And then look at his sorry ass teacher just watching the student getting his ass beat. Like oh, shit, that ain't my problem. <laughs> it's lunchtime, nigga. Uh huh? So they end up beating his ass. Then posting it on Instagram, <laughs> clowning him. Cause obviously these dudes is trying to run a train on them tracks. But later on after this, Junpei goes to the movies to skip school. And while he's at the movie, what do you know? The three stooges are there yapping their ass off with their goddamn cell phone in the goddamn theater. That fucking bright ass cell phone like turn that shit the fuck off. And then they hear yapping like, yo man, I think she's gonna let us hit bro. But out of nowhere, this- Man, really when they say, who are they talking about? And that's gonna let them hit. All three of them? I think that was just riffing right there. Dirty ass nigga pops up right yeah. behind them and says, Oh my gosh, you guys are so rude. Didn't you read the disclaimer? No cellular devices allowed. And this man uses his special disgusting ass technique, idle transfiguration, or what I like to call it, the cheese touch. And he transforms these niggas into, I don't know. The first dude look like he got a pet testicles on his head. The second nigga looking like Roger from American Dad. And the third dude, I don't know, bro just gave him a big ass forehead. But right off the bat, boom, that's a multi-kill. This nigga's a level two right out the gate. And you know what? For putting his dirty ass unwashed hands on another man's face? Look at that's unhinged behavior at a half. So after Junpei just witnessed a triple homicide, Junpei thought to himself, oh my God, I just witnessed a whole serial killer. But he did kill my bullies. And that was kind of cool. I think I'm gonna go follow him. So this dumb ass nigga decides to follow bro down a dark alley. Like, bro, are you dumb? Nigga just witnessed a triple homicide. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Why can you let nigga fly on YouTube and, and I can't say the F word more than three times or else my video gets shadow banned and, and, and demonetized? What's up with that? I can't say anti-Semitic things. I can't say anti-white things, or I mean, I can't say anti-gay things. It's gonna be hate speech. But I can say nigga as much as I want. That's cool.
and said, let me go follow the killer. But no, this is where we start to see how despicable this man Mahito is. So he turns around and says, ah, you can see me, yes. I see you want to learn the dark arts, yes. And obviously, since Junpei is basically having a terrible life right now, he's like, yeah, teach me what you just did, bro. So Mahito takes him back to his evil lair in the sewers. And he just starts teaching him about cursed spirits and cursed energy. And is obviously just manipulating and taking advantage of a kid with a pretty shitty mental state right now so then later on one day he ends up hearing something down the tunnel and while he's looking down at mojito pops in his face and he tells him you hear it don't you boy my experiment sir would you care to take a look so he takes him back here and he shows him this big ass glob and tells him now you see my young boy this is big bitch I found on the side of the road. So I wondered, could I make her even bigger? But no, it gets worse. Then this says, you see that little tud you're holding in your hand? That was a midget named Eduardo. You know what I mean? He was already a midget, so I wanted to see if I could make him even smaller. This thing is trash. This man is disgusting. He is out here doing human experimentation. And what makes it worse, these people are technically still alive. This is straight unhinged behavior. Like this nigga is a different type of sick. He is treating humans like Play-Doh. So later on after this, Nanami ends up finding Mahito's hideout and wastes no time. He pulls a machete on this ugly bastard. So he ends up chopping off his hand. But just look at this nasty nigga. Bro's just twirling around his hand like helicopter, helicopter. So then he fixes his hand and pulls out more of his cursed turds and just starts shooting them at him. They got the damn gum gum fruit. And this next part is just terrible. Look at this. Nanami's standing on the thing and the cursed turd starts talking and saying, <laughs> Just remind me, Gus, that these- That is so fucked up. That's real fucked That's real messed up. Oh, man. Goodness. Yo, where y'all come up with this stuff? Y'all some sick people. It's not about the, the character. You you worried about the wrong thing, CJ the Champ. If you want to take your videos to the next level, talk about the writers and look up their backgrounds and stuff like that. Like, it's People are still alive. They just got turned into Play-Doh. So then Mahito rushes him and hits him with the dose of the cheese touch. And then look at him back up. This nigga got horse legs. I will say this. Everything could be so much better. But y'all know that already. And you like it like this. But, but, get me to a thousand subscribers. If you made it this far in the video, we at 90 subscribers right now. Turn, turn me up. All right? Put me at a thousand subscribers. Hit the subscribe button right now. You don't even have to leave a like or a comment. I know the, the intro says subscribe and comment, but pay attention to subscribe more than anything. Like blood turned into a stallion. Ah, more. Ah. And he had anatomy on his heels. He was like, uh-uh, hell no. So Mahito ends up hitting him off this ledge and gives us a nice good daily dose of zest. Because why are his toes out? Hey, yo, what the fuck? Dog, who, who animated this scene? This nigga got his stinky ass, nasty ass toes out and everything. Straight diabolical. So Nanami cuts off Bro's foot, tells him, put on some shoes, you dirty ass nigga. And Bro said, I'm making a strategic retreat, my nigga, because you stink. And just drops a bunch of debris on him. And then after the fight, look at this nasty bastard. This nigga turned into a fucking... I don't know who stink. Who stink? Who is he talking about? Worm. Like, bro, what is that? Nigga built like the Alaskan bullworm. So after the fight with Nanami, tragedy occurs with yours truly behind it. So Junpei and Itadori end up becoming pretty good friends. Shit, Itadori's even at his house sharing a meal with him and his mom. But after Itadori leaves, one of Sukuna's fingers appear at his house in front of his mama. And well, uh, someone Hello? behind her was looking real hungry. <laughs> The next morning, his mama's corpse is discovered, and half of the body is bit off from the waist down. And well, <laughs> guess who probably set this shit up? Oh, you guessed it. Ta-da! This motherfucker.
This man planted one of Sukuna's fingers in his house and got his mama killed. And guess what? It wasn't just Mahito. Ghetto has some shit to do with this as well. These scheming ass niggas. But no, here's the crazy part. After his mom's death, Mahito starts talking to him and saying, Oh man, I'm so sorry about your mom, bro. Obviously yeah, something. Look at that look on his face. <laughs> I know people that look like that in real life. The one on the left, uh, I don't, not Mahito, but his 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 uh, his slave. The one he just killed his mother. Look at his face. How many of y'all look like that on a regular basis, or like for for months at a time, or or even a week at a time? But that happens to you sometimes. How many of y'all? You know what that's called? Mental illness. Somebody set you up with this finger. Do you know anybody that was a jujutsu sorcerer that was probably in your house last night having dinner with you? Is this nigga serious? Sick ass nigga, bro. Man, is out here trying to set Itadori up, bro. Diabolical ass nigga. At a half. So later on after this, Mahito and Geto end up going to Junpei's high school and they end up. You have a brother, Mahito and Geto? Cause the the other dude had something across his forehead, like the the stitching. How what happened to him? How 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 they get their powers? Where did they get the powers from? Casting a veil, and Junpei walks in looking like a school, you know who, and just starts to beat the shit out of one of his bullies because he thinks that he paid Yuji to set him up. Oh man, the way he manipulated this kid is horrible. So for like a good five minutes, Itadori and Junpei have a little squabble. So after they're done with that little friendly squabble, and Itadori uses talk no jutsu, Mahito comes from the stairs and he's like, "Hey, how's it going, guys? Are you guys done?" around yet and bro uses gear third and pins Itadori on the wall so Junpei's like huh oh, what's going on oh hey don't stop this you're not a bad person stop the cap <laughs> So after Junpei finally comes to his senses, Mahito comes behind him and tells him, ah, kids these days, y'all little niggas will believe anything now, won't you? You, my friend, are a fool. He turns this nigga into a fat alligator. What the fuck is that? Nigga turned him into a fusion of Pumbaa, Barney, and a fucking crocodile. And this is just sad, bro. Look at him hanging on for dear life. Itadori, help me. I was a dumbass. And tragically, Junpei dies. Damn, he killed his this protege. That's, that's the word I was looking for, protege. He killed his protege. It's sick, bro. We're not even through chapter one. And this <laughs> nigga is already halfway. Oh, oh, this nigga is sick. Bro took advantage of a Man, bullied a kid and said, 21 minutes? And you're not even going into the background of the character? What are you talking about for 21 minutes, man? This could have easily been 9 minutes and 20 seconds. You wasting people's time. I'm going to use you as my... I got time, though. I got time. My bills. You know what bills are? How old are you? Are you... How old is CJ? You know, you got a million subscribers. You probably live on your own by now. I don't need a million. Just like I say, give me to a thousand. Um, what else? Yeah, just for, I'm gonna probably edit that out, and I'm gonna keep this in so you know that I edited something out. This bruh. Mahito gets his ass whooped and very rightfully so. Niggas like, oh my god, is my nose bleeding? And Itadori was whooping his ass. Look at him grab his own noodle arm. Bro said, sit your dumb ass down with that bootleg ass gum gum fruit, nigga. Shit, even Nanami came in. Bro said, let me get some licks on this dirty ass motherfucker. And I mean, I don't blame him. Look at his diabolical fuck. Bro puked out some turds and said, fetch me their soul. But then look at this glorious scene when they just start jumping the shit out of this nigga. And then just look at him getting hit like, and then just hitting him like, bow, 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 jump that pussy nigga. Bro was getting his ass beat so bad he had to panic. Oh, bro pressed Q and said domain expansion. So he ends up trapping Nanami in here in this musty ass domain expansion. But here comes the MC coming to save the day. And then we know what happened next. Big Dog said, get your dirty ass on my face nigga. And 
dropped the damn Patchy the Pirate patch face bum. And bro knew he was cooked. So he had to turn into cell when he was about to blow up the earth and pop like a balloon to make his retreat. Bruh. And then just look at this musted, dusted, dirty son of a bitch just sitting in these damn sewers like, yeah. that was fun. Niggas thought that little bum ass boy was gonna join the main cast. <laughs> Psych. Chapter two, a bloody Halloween. Now, before we even get to the Halloween night, get ready for more messed up stuff. Chapter two. We have to observe the casualty before that night. And that is none other than Mechamaru. Now, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. The man went out like a G. I mean, he pulled out a whole fucking mech. Dude pulled up in the Ava and booted oh. his dirty ass across the country. And look, he wasn't even done. Mahito came back for some more just to get hit with the left and sent flying. But sadly for Mechamaru, even though his mecha was cool, he had to get reminded that he was just a side character. So Mahito ends up killing him. And what makes this sad? This man just got his body back from being crippled for his entire life. And he was about to meet his shorty with his actual self. And got smoked. <laughs> so after that first incident, later on that night, we see this dirty bastard again, about to commit his most horrid act of all time. So Itadori ends up finding this lady that looks absolutely traumatized and is in a vegetable state. So we ask her, hey, uh, everything good? No! <laughs> monsters! Everybody turns into monsters! <laughs> That's race, nigga! Then she ends up turning into Megamind and just falls over and dies. And then Itadori ends up realizing, oh god, we're cooked! Five minutes later. Now please stand clear as the train arrives for your death. I mean, uh, to take you home, yes, to take you home. Ah, uh, finally, man, let me out of here, man. Hey, 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 we're saved. Come on, man, move. Get me on the train. Uh, uh. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to our first level tick. So he releases all of these transfigured humans and chaos just ensues. This is not just in the train station. Nigga, this is everywhere. The outside is literally just hell on earth. This dude gets thrown into a sign. One right here just gets ate. And somebody right here getting their ass just tooted. Whoever was the person that got transfigured right here, that brother must have been starving. And there are just bodies everywhere, dude. And who do all these kills belong to? And guess who? Your favorite dirty, musty, patch face oh, son yes, of a bitch. That was one of the requi one of the... The, he had a list of things that he was going to give points for. We had ten. He had ten points right now. Mahito was at ten points right now. So it was it was a uh, one kill equals one point or something like that. One if and, and then uh, multi kill was the other one, and um, mass murder was the third one, the last one. I think that was a hundred points. No, that was one point for mass murder. And one point for each of the three things, I think. I, I don't remember. But yeah, that's another point. Another tick on the tally one for Mojito. 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 <laughs> Why are you calling them Mojito? <laughs> Mojito. Diabolical bastard, I'll tell you that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, since Mahito has hit the almighty level 10, any action committed from this point on will now count as bonus stars. The more diabolical shit he does, the more stars he gets. And trust me, he gonna need them because later on, we end up seeing a crippled Nanami. And this man looks cooked. Literally half his body is burnt off. And so while he's fighting for his life against like a million something transfigured humans, you can tell that he's on his last stand because is showing shots of him on the beach. So he's done killing all of them, Mahito appears behind him and tells him, Ah, uh, it's you, the one who survived the cheese stash. You know I will never forget the day that you jumped me. And blows this nigga up, Jesus Christ, bro. This sick fuck just blew this man's body up right in front of Itadori. So now it's time for the final battle. The traumatized 15 year- This is a long video. He's not talking about nothing. I mean, he showed some, some messed up stuff. 
That's, I guess that's the point of this anime. It's, you know, uh, art imitates life. So all this stuff is social commentary. That's when you get the, in, that's when you get the the, uh, the inspiration to to write stuff. When you see something, and you flip it, and you 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 elevate it, and you and you make it your own, and then you write it and you put it out into the world through publishing, through videos, through conversation, through magic, whatever you want to call it, technology. And then, yeah, look at this face that he's making. If you ever see somebody in real life make that face, get out of there. He about to start shooting. In, in, in America, you see somebody make this face in America, he about to start shooting. Old versus the patch face bastard. So Itadori goes in for the swing and gets rocked. Man gets sent flying and he's got a fat ass scar on his head now. And I can tell the figurine companies are going crazy right now. They like, oop, new character design just dropped. That's a Funko Pop. And look at him coming for the swing. Yee! Man made the cut even deeper. Gotta make sure that new character design sticks. So then this is where Mahito does some more sick shit. So Itadori asked him how you can play with innocent people's lives like this. And he smiles at him and turns his his head into Junpei. And look at this trolling. Yeah, you couldn't save your friend, huh? Yeah. yeah got, 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 stupid nigga. This is just disgusting, bro. Absolute unhinged behavior right here. In this whole fight, he was just being diabolical. Bro turned his arm into a cannon thinking he's Samus. Started spamming the shit out of gear third. And then they get in the elevator and he tries to piss the nigga. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Like, dog, that's harassment. Back the fuck up. But nah, what he does right here is horrible. Itadorians are finding these two dudes. And they like, hey, man, you better get over here. There's monsters everywhere. So Itadori's like, Listen, guys, you gotta get out of here. And he gets punched in the mouth! Hell no! He was hiding in this man's body. This is disgusting. Oh, and you didn't think it could get worse? He grabs bro right here and makes him a sword. No. That was that was nuts. Going on inside this man's head right now. Like, why did you have to do this? This man must have watched that one isekai reincarnated as a sword and said, hmm, let me see if I could do that. And this man still wasn't done killing the innocents. Look at him. Blood said, Come in, come on up. human Come on. And bro just gets sense fly. This nigga is sick. It's like at this point, this man's entire arsenal is just using innocent human beings. Look at him, he even made this man's head explode the flashbang, bro. So Mahito's about to kill him, but bro ends up getting blasted from the inside out. Cause apparently dude had a double the whole time that was fighting Nobara, and she hit that boy with the ban hammer. So while he's basically stunned, Itadori pops off on bro. I'm talking like Tekken combo type shit. Like this man literally could not move. Look at him, he even grabbed him and threw him on the wall. Just to combo him some more. And look at him hit the finisher. Hiya! So after this man got juggled on the wall and hit with the nastiest combo of the decade, he was like, Yeah, no, I cannot go out like this. That, that lunatic face. Look at that. Take a screenshot. I don't know. So this man turned into some despicable meme minions and decided to make his great escape just to do some more horrendous shit. So he ends up running into his double. And guess who was chasing behind that other double? Oh, hell no. Yeah, so y'all probably know where this is going. Bro rubs his nasty ass hands on no Nobara's face and gives her the cheese touch. And you knew it was over for her because they did a whole 20 minute backstory. <laughs> Like, bro, that's how you know she was cooked. Uh, and yeah, uh, man, shit went cool. Man, I don't even want to talk about this shit no more, bro. This damn shitty fucked hard no, uh, bastard. Let me show y'all what I'm doing. If you made it this far, thank you. This one, this one I'm, I'm watching the, uh, the Iowa, Iowa Purdue game. Yeah, women's basketball. <laughs> I don't think that there is any better stuff on YouTube. Like this is this is the best I'm gonna get. He's taking the time to write a, a script of what he wants to say. That's the best I'm gonna get on YouTube. This is not the film industry. And 
The film industry is bad right now. Writers went on strike. Look, now I'm at the point that I'm just saying shit. Like, this man has put Ida Dory through, like, years of pain in the amount of 10 minutes. Like, he's literally putting everybody that he knows in a pack. And look at this fuck nigga. Bro, hits him with a black flash! Now he's still in his nose! Just look at him beating his ass and telling him, Man, what the fuck do you think this is, nigga? What? You thought this was gonna be some Team 7 Naruto bullshit? Yeah, nigga. I'm gonna edit that out. And that's another thing that I added it out. JJJ! No happy endings allowed! And then he just beat this man over and over again. This man Itadori was cooked. But when all hope seemed lost and you in a dark place, there is one person that could save you, and that's your brother. So Big Bro Toto pulled up and said, I'ma need you to back up, little bro. Out here fucking with my brother. So then he told Itadori, get your ass up, little bro. What the fuck the big booty hoes gonna think of your ass if you on your knees, nigga? But then Mahito ends up attacking him, but Dog clapped and kicked the shit out of his ass and said, I'ma need you to back up, me and my brother. Just trying to have a sentimental moment. So the tall and big Big booty loving tag team champions was ready to defend their title against Patchy the Bump, and they did not waste no time. They started cooking this nigga. It got to the point where Mahito got desperate and had to do some more hellacious shit. And what do I mean by that? Turning two more people in the swords, dog. <laughs> did it again. I mean, like, idol transfiguration. How how is idol transfiguration them moving? I, doesn't idol mean standing still? I don't know. What does idol mean? How do your powers work? I don't get it. And maybe that's the point. I mean, they just writing the the they just writing what they what they want to. And maybe that's the point. Like they and animating, writing and animating. I wonder how they how they do it. Like, do the writers know what they wanna write? And then like not what they wanna write, but do they know how they want it to look and they tell the animators exactly what to do? Or are the animators going off of their own understanding? Like, who came up with the idea of this character first? An animator or a writer? So, if it was an animator, the animator would have to uh, find writers just to help him write. Because you can come up with some stories, and if you know how to, what you're doing with the animation, you can, you can draw some stuff, but... You want to make it professional and, and put it out, so you, you hire like a team. I need a team. I need somebody to. I'm nah, I can edit these videos myself. I'm just not. I be. I'm. I'm. I'm off the dome. I'm. I'm pretty good off the dome. I'm good off of the dome. If you made it this far, trust me. I'm good off the dome. I want to say your name real bad. At this point, bro, this man is a walking definition of diabolical. Like, he's just doing shit just because. So they had to get his bum ass up on out of here. Toto had to hit this man with his plus ultra looking ass black flash and send his musty ass flying. You could probably smell his must watch Shibuya. So Mahito said, out of hell with this. And pukes out a shitload of doodoo -doo turds to send them all the way up to the surface. And then Ichidori came in for the fucking pig just to get grabbed and thrown into the crater. And then this nasty ass boy decided to risk it all. So he tries to do a 0.2 second domain expansion and got some hands coming out his mouth and shit with his hot ass breath. And before he activated, he needed permission from Sukuna. He was like, hey man, I just want to make sure I'm not touching you, big bro. And gives Toto's hand every single disease that he has. So he had to chop that shit off. He was like, nah, nigga, I'm STD free. So then Mahito gut checks him with a black flash. But Toto ate it with the power of his parasocial relationship with Tanaka-chan. Like shit, I guess this is an inside look of the mind of a tier 3 Twitch sub. Mo thought to himself, if I beat this nigga ass, she gonna let me hit. Then each door he tags in and smacks his dirty ass like 30 yards. So now Mahito was on his last legs. So out of pure desperation, this man turned himself into a freezer looking ass transformation. Bro said, come at me, monkey. And he started eating everything. His body just made out of steel. Luke Cage ass nigga. Then he picks him up and slams his ass. And he done beat the hell out of Itadori. Look, his mouth even slid open. So they both go in for a final swing. But Mahito's body ends up fucking up. 
and it was finally over for this sick fuck. Toto makes Ichidori swap places and blesses the boat. And look at this pathetic now got son. energy blasts. What's up with that? I thought it was doing idle, tra idle, idle transfiguration. Now they got, now they doing Kamehameha's. I'm tired of shaking my head. I want to be impressed by something. I was impressed with the when he turned somebody into a sword. That was that was. <laughs> That's something I would write. Uh, I wouldn't be able to draw it though. I could, I could, I could, I could draw like a, um, like, I could be able to explain it to to a real animator. I, could, but I could probably put something together. You know what I mean? A bitch. Bro tried to puke out some more turds and ended up realizing, oh, no, no, I'm out of ammo! And then Ichidori just stands over and tells him, look at this pathetic ass running away like, <laughs> and then he runs into Ghetto, and bro gets hit with the whole ass princess and the frog death. I just need a little more time. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, this motherfucker will be locked in this bitch for eternity with a whopping level 10 with over eight stars. This bastard does not need to ever see the light of day ever again. So get comfortable, you dirty diabolical. Guys, he was making people feel like that for how long? And then he's not he's not mad or like showing some type of balls when he gets put in, in some in some you feel me? What, what was that? But he's... Look at his face. Hold on. Look at his face. Ten with over eight stars. This bastard does not need to ever see the light Look of... That. Look at that. Check him out. If you made it this far. I, I keep saying if you made it this far because I look at the um, analytics on my videos and the average watch time is like 40 something seconds on my last video. So I don't know how, how many people, like if you average it, even if, even like if someone was to watch the whole video, but then like most people would, uh, would be watching it for just for like 30 seconds. The fact that someone, one person, watched the whole video, that would stretch out the 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 average of the like the analytic. So I don't know how long y'all y'all be watching. I don't know if I'm talking to myself when I get this far into a video, 21 minutes. But I hope not. I hope you watching. I want to say your name, but I'm not. I'm not going to dox you. I'm not going to dox you. Um. But the person I wore this hat for today. Uh, yeah, let's hurry. Update ever again. So get comfortable, you dirty, diabolical son of a bitch. Because you will spend eternity in the deepest, darkest pits in the asylum. You sick fuck. All right. So, that was that. CJ the Champ, Mahito, Mahito. The most diabolical curse. He should have just called this idol, tra idol transfiguration. Anyway, that's that. Um, like I said, I got something coming soon. Subscribe. We going up. 2024. See y'all later. Peace. Let your soul to intuition. Renaissance, new revolution. Pick me up, even if I 